Alright guys, so uh, this is going to be a cool little demo of a project that I have started working on. Um, so with a lot of uh, Chrysler and, and Seattle vehicles, you know, it's been well known that you've been able to hack into the cars. Um, well, I kind of wanted to do something with that. Uh, so right now, uh, everything I'm just doing is through my OBD port. Uh, I'm going to be recording a small little section of my screen, putting on the lower left hand corner. Because I'm pretty sure you guys cannot see that with this. Uh, so you can kind of sort of follow along. Um, at this time, I'm not going to be releasing any of the, the code just for security reasons. Uh, but let's let me go ahead and start this screen capture here. And let's see here. All right, and we'll go ahead and get started. Um, okay, so the first thing that um, I need to do is to get my uh, computer ID. Um, the reason for this is because you know I don't want any other person to be able to connect to my vehicle when I'm driving because that would be bad. I don't want them to see the steer or honk horns or things like that. Um, so after I get the uh, the computer ID, um, I want to connect to the vehicle. Whoops. Um, and connect to the vehicle with said CID. Alright, I'm just going to wait. Alright, um, okay, and then there's two functions that I currently have right now. I uh, haven't really focused on anything else because it's very time consuming. And if you're wondering how to do this stuff, uh, if you've ever taken your car in for work or for maintenance, uh, the people there connect a, a little diagnostic tool to your car. Uh, ever since the early 1990s, all vehicles needed to have an OBD port. Um, that's basically how the canvas connects and talks to all the stuff on the vehicle. Uh, okay, so I've only gotten two things, lock and unlock a vehicle. So first thing we're going to do is call the unlock. All right, um, that worked. And then the second thing, uh, well, of course, is going to be the lock. So that, and then I just got uh, successfully locked. Um, all right, that's just a quick little taste on a, a project I'm kind of been working on. Um, all the other future videos will probably just be, I don't know, 20 to 30 seconds long. Um, this is just an intro. All right, I uh, hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you want to keep up with this content. And uh, check out my GitHub page. All right, see you all later.